and welcome to Fit On. I'm Katie Dunlop, and today we're gonna do one of my bar boot camp workouts. This one is a five minute booty burn, and it's gonna burn a little bit, but you can do it at home with no equipment. I'm gonna be using a loop resistance booty band just like this one, so if you have one, grab it because it's really gonna take your workout next level, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start on the floor with that band. So go ahead and bring it around the thighs, just a couple of inches above the knee. I'm using one of my Light Love Sweat Fitness bands. You can use any resistance you want. Press those heels onto the floor. We're gonna start with a bridge, really isolating the glutes and helping activate them. So squeezing at the top, I want you to imagine there's a pencil at the top of your thigh, the bottom of your booty that you are trying to hold as tight as you can. Don't let it drop and then lower back down. Pick it up and squeeze, drop it lower back down. Good, up and squeeze and lower. Core is tight. Good, lift it up and down. So the goal here is to keep your knees at hip distance right now. We're gonna open them up in just a moment. Good, lower, exhale, squeeze. Allowing that resistance band to keep them nice in place, pushing against it just a bit. Up and down, good, up and down. Four more for four, for three, two, Hold up on one. From here, we're gonna work into the abductor. So the outside of those thighs, you're gonna press out, out. You should feel this almost immediately. Just push, good, out, press. Here for eight, keep that booty high. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. You're gonna walk your right foot out, then your left, bring it in, in. Hips stay high, out, out. In, in. Do you feel those glutes? Oh yeah. Eight, seven, six, five, for four. You got this. Three, keep them a little higher. Two, one. Walk those feet in and pulse. Lift eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, lower the hips, hug the knees in for a moment. Then come all the way through into a high plank. We're gonna continue working into those glutes now that they're nice and activated. So from your high plank, you're gonna extend and lift one leg and switch. If this is too much, come onto the knees and kick back as you extend. Otherwise, we're here. Lift, point the toes. Nice long line of energy from the crown of the head all the way to the tailbone through those heels as you lift. Keeping your hips down, come on. Eight, seven, six, five. Ooh, that booty for four. Three, nice and strong, push the mat away. Two, and one. Set the hips back, quick stretch, and come onto your side body. So from here, we're gonna work into a clam with a hip raise. So keeping that resistance band right where it is, you're gonna lift, opening the knees, close them, then lift the hips. We open and lift, open and lift. Good, so not only are you working the abductors, you're getting into the glutes, into the hips, and a little bit into that love handle area, which I think we all like to work a bit. Lift, plus a stretch. Good, up and open, lift up and down. Just four more, lift for three, Two, and one, hold here, extend the leg, lift eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, exhale, let it go, let's switch sides. Same idea, you're gonna open, lift it up, open, and lift. So one of my favorite things in the world is finding workouts that are short, so real fast, super effective and that you can do at home without needing a lot of equipment. And beyond that, things that are like compound movements like this one where you're working multiple body parts at once, that's really gonna help you get the most bang for your buck or the most out of the time that you're spending working out. Cause let's be honest, like we don't have a lot of time. So you gotta make it count, open, lift, open for four. Three, two, 
One, hold here, lift it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, let it go. You guys, we have one more move. That's it. Told you it was quick. Making that booty, those hips, everything work in this area. So when we think of booty, it's not just one spot. There's three giant muscles in our glutes, plus all the muscles that work for us around it. Let's go ahead and remove that band for our last move. It's a grand plie jump. So heels in, toes out as wide as you can. Get low, we'll pop it in and out, in and out. Good. Just give me eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, shake it off. Just getting that heart rate up just a little bit at the end there for you guys. I know that you are feeling it all in that lower body, in that booty. If you want more, do this a couple more times. Come back, especially that bridge. It is my absolute favorite exercise to do to really isolate the glutes. And if you stick with it, you're gonna start seeing that change, the strength, and the definition on your backside. I can't wait to work out with you guys again soon. I'm Katie Dunlop, I'll see you next time, bye.